Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. African American, there's no power in African Americans. A lot of people say, I'm black and I'm proud. But not knowing that African American is really a derogatory term. You see what I'm saying? You, we, we have been so far removed from our nationality, we don't even realize that we're disrespecting ourselves when we call ourselves African American. Right. Because those are, those are, that's a slave name. Even the last name that you go to for a family reunion, that's you celebrating your slave name. Right. So if we taught the Bible is our manual book, our manuscripts, and teach it to our youth, they wouldn't kill. Hey, sister, these your children? Can I ask them a question if you don't mind? Hey, sister, come here for a second. You too, bro. I mean, you too. Look, come, come on, you come with them, Mark. They nervous. Do they know who Jesus is? No, nah, come, come right here in front, sis. Who's Jesus? Him? Which one is Jesus? This one right here, which one is Jesus? This one right here, which one is Jesus, ma? This one, the white man, right? You see what I'm saying, bro? That's why we out here. Because this is the problem. You feel me? Because how old are you, sis? 27, all right? For when I, I think when I was 27, I thought this was Jesus too. I'm gonna show you that Jesus is this guy right here. The dark skinned black man with woolly hair. In the Bible it says that, how old are you? 15? What's your name? Mariah. I like Mariah. Listen real closely, give me that real quick. What's your name, mom? Chica. And it's real important for you to know this so you can teach them. Because they think our oppressor is Jesus. If Jesus, if they think our oppressor is Jesus, guess what, they think their God is Jesus. So that means they're not gonna have respect for someone who looked like me. But if they know that Jesus and God looks like this, they're going to have more respect for me. What? Ain't that right, Hank? Yeah. Read that. Revelation chapter 1, verse 14. Read his head and his hairs were white like wool. So his head and his hairs were white like wool. Touch your hair. That's woolly hair. Does this guy got woolly hair? He don't. He got the hair that a lot of our sisters go into these stores and buy to look like. You see how our mindset has been twisted? Right. We try to look like him. We think this is God and we try to look like him subconsciously. Bring it out. So you have a big job to do, mom. You have to instill that power back into your daughters. Right. Because the greatest man that ever walked this earth looked like this. Right. Hey sis, can I ask you a question? Who's Jesus? How do you look? Like a black man. Like a black man. You see what I'm saying? See, see how powerful that is? You see, she said that thing with confidence. So what color is Jesus? All right, we gonna prove it. Don't go nowhere. We don't. As white as snow. So he had woolly hair that was white as snow. Read. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. He drank bread. He drank wine. That's why his eyes was red. Read on. And his feet like unto fine bread. Hold on. Come here, sis. Just come right here. You ain't gotta, just come a little closer, sis. All right, so do me a favor. Pull your sandal out just a little, your feet out your sandal just a little bit. What color is the top of your foot? Brown, brown right? So the Bible just said that Christ had brown feet. Hold on, isn't, isn't the rest of your body the same color as your feet? Right? So what color does that make Jesus? Brown, right? But not only just brown, read on. As if they burned in a furnace. So when you burn anything in a furnace, what color does it get? It gets blacker, it gets darker. Right. So Christ was a dark skinned man. That's right. The greatest people on earth. You are part of the greatest race on earth. That's so it's important for you to teach that to your daughters. They are strong black women. Right. You understand that? But hold on, I got more for you, sis. I, I hear you, but look, sis. Now look, if you want to stop him, would you ever know that? Would your daughter's ever known that? You see why it's important for us to be out here? What color is Jesus? 
sisters, what color is Jesus? These two daughters right here, they said that Jesus looked like this. Is that true? Is Jesus white, y'all? Young daughters, sisters, sis. Is this Jesus right here? How does he look? He look like us color, right? So where did this come from? Huh? You don't know? What about slavery? You ever seen that before? You ever heard of that? How did this happen to us? Why did it happen? Back in the days? So why did this happen to us? We were slaves. Well, how did we become slaves? Why? Why did a white man put us in slavery? Huh? To take over us, right? Once he took over us, he put this image out there. You understand? Hey, how you doing, sis? Can I ask you a question? I know you're on your job. I just gotta ask you a question. Who is this right here? Who is this? Come on, you can answer that, sis. All right, so we went through slavery, right? Did you know that that was in the Bible? You got children? Let me read that to you. Give me Deuteronomy 28, verse 15. The slavery, this was prophesied that happened to a people. So what's your nationality? Where you see yourself at on this sign right here, sis? What's your name? Connie. My name is Jose. Nice talking. Where you see yourself at right here? Where you see yourself at? What'd it say? Judah. Judah, right? Okay. All praises. Because slavery happened to us. When you go fill out a job application, what do you fill out? African American, black, right? So why don't say Judah on there? Why don't say Israel? You see what I'm saying? Because when we went through slavery, all that got taken away from us. What? We call ourselves African American now. But African American is the name of two white men. And we know white people have recessive genes. They can't create anything of color. Especially two men can't create a baby. That's impossible. So how do we get the name African American? This is how it happened. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So, if we don't listen to God, curses is going to come upon us. Curses was going to come upon us. It's just like when you have children. You got children, Connie? So when you was raising your children up, you gave them household rules. They either had to keep the room clean, do their homework, wash the dishes, things of that nature, right? What would happen if they didn't do what you asked them to do? You would punish them, right? Maybe you put put them on time out. Maybe they'll have to not watch TV for a week. And depending on the severity of the offense, they got a whooping, right? So God has rules, and when you break those rules, he call them a curse. Now you got to get punished because he has children in his household. So here's one of his curses. Here's one of his rules. Oh, here's one of his, uh, here's a consequence to one of his rules that we broke. Read that. Isaiah chapter 65, verse 15. Bring it up. And ye shall leave your name for a curse. Ye shall leave our name for what? For a curse. So the name we once had was Israel, Judah. So now we're leaving our name for what? A curse. So now our curse name is African American. What's your last name? Charleston. Charleston. Chester. So your forefathers and foremothers was owned by a white man and his last name was Chester. That's how we got the name Chester. Right. Hey, how you doing, sir? Hey, how can we stop the crime in our black community? Do you have any solutions to help us with so that we can share with our brothers and sisters? So, miss, let me ask you this. A black man just asked a black man a very important question. Why do you think he just ignored me? Do you think he care about his people? Do you think that's the reason why the youngsters don't listen to the older men? Right. Because black men are supposed to help each other to build, build a community up, right? Wouldn't you did better off if the black man was strengthened in unity as you was coming up? 
Don't you think you would have came up in a better in a better way today? You would have been better off? Because this neighborhood used to be only us in it back in the early 1900s. This was called the Black Belt or the Black Metropolis. We had businesses all up through here. This was us living here because they wouldn't allow us to live anywhere else. We used to live here. This was our little Black Wall Street. Am I right? Wasn't this called the Black Metropolis? World War II. Right. So you know all about it. We was all up through here. Yep. Then we have our own hospitals. I own banks. Oh, banks. They used to be a black uh, insurance company right there. Right there. Right. What was the name of it? I forget the name. But, uh, yeah, it used to be right here. Right here. The whole the upstairs, downstairs, nine days. And we used to be out here all the time. All the time. Loving each other. Hey, and when brothers out that came out here to talk like this, we listened, didn't we? That's right, we listened. We listen. We didn't have all this uh, black against black. We ain't had that black against black, black on black crime. How did that happen? Hey, uh, bro, what, what, what's your name? What's your name? What's my name? Yes, Knight. 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 Yeah. Hey, my name Hosea. Hey, man, this is some great stuff you're giving us right here. Right. Yeah. This is what we need. We need men like you to share with us what happened to us. That's right. Because this used to be a prominent black community back in the early 1900s. What happened? Why we aren't like that anymore? Why when the older black men look at younger black men, they turn their nose up and call them niggas? Why the younger black men have no respect for the older black men? Why is that? Why is it that there's 12 year old, 13 year olds with clocks, with switches on it, killing everybody in the neighborhood? How are we gonna stop the crime in our neighborhood? You got any solutions to help with us, bro? You got any solutions to help with the crime? Can you give us to it? Can you help us? All right, bro. Hey, I look forward to you sharing that with us, bro, because we want to help our community stop the crime. We need some solutions. Help us with the solutions. Pull over. Come talk to us. Because these young black men up here, we're trying to help stop the blacks on black crime. We try to stop these young sisters out here having babies at 14, 15 years old, and they teaching the young kids to be uh, thugs and thoughts. We try to stop that. So we need the black men to come over here and dialogue with us so we can help bring some solutions to our neighborhood. You understand that? So, we were talking about the curses. Here's another curse. Deuteronomy chapter 20. Matter of fact, finish that on 65. Uh, <clears throat> it's it. Isaiah chapter 65, verse 15. And ye shall leave your name for a curse unto my chosen. For the Lord shall slay thee and call his servants by another name. So we're called by another name. When we get slayed, we're no longer now the greatest people on earth. We're now what? A weak, docile people. African American, there's no power in African Americans. A lot of people say, I'm black and I'm prime. But not knowing that African American is really a derogatory term. You see what I'm saying? You, we, we have been so far removed from our nationality, we don't even realize that we're disrespecting ourselves when we call ourselves African American. Right. Because those were, those are, that's a slave name. Even the last name that you go to for a family reunion, that's you celebrating your slave name. If you go by the name of Johnson, Martin, McLaren, whatever, that's your slave master's name. We so destroyed, we get into Greek fraternities, Greek sororities. Why? Because we lost, we lost our image. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family.